Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Stephen. Today's episode is measuring three clarinet barrels. We have a Buffet R13, a Buffet S1, and a Buffet RC, as you learn more about the variation differences between these three specific clarinets. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share afterwards. So let's look at these barrels now, shall we? So what we're doing now is we are going to take a look at three barrels. An R13, an S1, and RC Prestige. These are all, of course, buffet barrels. First, we're going to do is we're going to measure the top bore, the bore of the um, top of the barrel. And doing that, we can do it two ways. I have this device here, which is used to you insert it into a bore. You slide this over to where it stops. You take a measurement right there where it's at. Take a look at all three. First, the R13. Fourteen point six four. So the R13 entry bore is fourteen point six four. We're we'll gonna measure its exit bore also at the same time. Same device. Fourteen point five eight. We're going to move to the S one. Whoops, do that again. 14.85 to the exit board. Oops. Fourteen point seven five. And last but not least, the RC. Fourteen point eight nine. Fourteen point eight six eight five eight six eight five. We'll take eight five. Now we're gonna do one more thing using this device, which is a gaze gauge, internal gauge. We're going to measure up to this first blue line here. Open it, close it, what it is. Fourteen point seven one. And that's the R13, the S1 now. Put this in there, open it up. Pull it up. Fourteen point seven eight. And the RC.
14.78. So here are the numbers we have. On the R13, the entry bore is 14.64, compared to the S1 is 14.85, and the RC is 14.89. So we see it's choked down a bit more here. Mid barrel, it's 14.71 in the R13. The S1 is 14.78, the RC is 14.78. And oddly, the R13 is 14.58, so it bows out and comes down. I'm going to measure that again. S1 is 14.85, 14.78, 14.75, so this is definitely... S1 is conical. RC is 14.89, 14.78, and 14.85. That's odd. Once again... Comes down and bows out. And the R13. Kind of bows down. <clears throat> I have a whole bunch of R13 barrels. I am going to start measuring them more again. In fact, we can measure this again. I did not measure it beforehand. Fourteen point seven, yeah, fourteen point seven one, same number. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. So that's an R thirteen barrel. We see that it actually expands in the middle before it shrinks back down to an exit bore less than the entry bore. The S one we find out is basically conical. And the RC, 14.89, 14.78, 14.85. So it compresses down and opens back up. I tell you, you just want to... Um, keep measuring this over and over again just to confirm what we've seen. Yeah, 14.87 exit bore. RC. Now you have to remember this is wood. It is not perfectly round, whereas this, this is perfectly round, this bore gauge. This bore gauge I purchased from um I don't think JL Smith. I think I got this from Ferrays. I get most of my stuff from Ferrays and then JL Smith and Allied. Just because I've known people from Ferrays for decades. 14.75 again. This is very interesting. We'll discuss this in a later episode after we discuss the clarinets themselves. Well, I want to thank you for watching today. It was very interesting. It's only three specific barrels, one of each clarinet. I have, you know, maybe... I don't know, a dozen R13 barrels here. And I used to make R13 barrels, but when I did that, I only took the entry bore and the exit bore and it made them all conical. The boring tool I have is conical, so it was, didn't really think about what's in between. But now I'm going to measure other clarinet barrels that I have, including some Monig and Shadas barrels and see what those look like in between and maybe take more than that specific measurement. But this is very interesting. So any questions or comments, please post them down below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. You gotta love the knowledge, you gotta love life, and you gotta love clarinet barrels that you never knew were different like this. Anyways, we'll see you next time.